Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, good news, your boy finally got power back after that crazy storm a few days ago. So I can finally return to my uh, natural habitat, if you will, my recording studio. And uh, in today's video, we are going to be checking out the details of the most recent global data download that we got this morning. Uh, before we get into it, as always, a big, big shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting the assets. If you guys aren't already following him, then definitely go ahead and do so. And uh, with that said, let's scroll down a little bit here and start with the assets from the upcoming Extreme Z battle event for the Fizz LR uh, Cell slash Cell Juniors. So we have the logo for the event right there along with the uh, LR Cell himself. We got a cut in right here. This is the TUR Cell or rather no, that's the SSR. That's the SSR. And then we also have the cut in for the TUR, some text for the super attacks. There's the TUR. That's the cut in for the LR. And then we have the full LR art right there. So, uh, yeah, that is for, once again, the Extreme Z battle for LR Cell, which is dropping in about uh, just under a day. Just under a day from now. And then we also have the Extreme Z battle or Extreme Z Awakening Medal for the cell as well. And uh, from there we have the My Data uh, category banner for the titles related to the Extreme Z Battle event. We have a new Super Battle Road stage, which is stage 58, Terrifying Conquerors only. And last but not least, we have the new Extreme, or rather uh, Explosive Chain Battle boss. Explosive Chain Battle boss, which is a new perfect cell. So. Uh, that basically does it for the data download. There wasn't too much to talk about, just a few things. The Super Battle Road stage, the Explosive Chain Battle boss, and also the uh, LR Cell Extreme Z Awakening slash Extreme Z Battle. Now, from there, we're going to pop over to the Dokkan Wiki and check out the details for the new Explosive Chain Battle and also the uh, Extreme Z Battle event for the cell as well. So, popping over here. Uh, there is the boss that is the perfect cell dropping on May 24th at the same time as the Extreme Z battle event so roughly like 15-16 hours from now and the advantageous categories for this one are Android slash Cell Saga, Siblings Bond, and Entrusted Will and here's a quick look at the advantageous characters as well as you can see there's a lot of uh, Super Saiyan Gokus, uh, a couple of Super Saiyan Gohans, we have some androids, the uh, 16 and 17 and 18 and I guess that's pretty much it. Yeah, it's Goku's, Gohan's, 16's, 17 and 18 and yeah, so that is the uh, Perfect Cell Extreme Z, damn it, Perfect Cell <laughs> Explosive Chain Battle. Obviously, I will be making a video going over the event once it drops to give you guys a better idea of which teams are good to use, which attackers, connectors, and all that good stuff. Now from there, let's take a look at the explosive... I keep mixing the two, man. <laughs> it's confusing. It's confusing. Extreme Z Battle, not Explosive Chain Battle, Extreme Z Battle for the Fizz LR Cell. Um, let's see, okay, so the weakness is Entrusted Will, that's the advantageous category, and of course you also get the additional damage boost for having the Legendary Power Link activated, so obviously you want to bring as many LRs as you possibly can from the Entrusted Will category. And uh, of course, as far as the stages go, it's pretty standard stuff, you're going to be getting 3 Dragon Stones per clear from levels 10, or rather 1 to 10, and you're going to be getting a bunch of uh, Fizz skill orbs, or rather hidden potential orbs. Yo, all my terms are like mixed up today. I don't know what's going on. I can't explain it. Anyways, uh, hidden potential orbs for every stage, and of course the awakening medals for the uh, LR cell up until level 10. So once you clear all 10 levels, you can expect to get 30 dragon stones, 5. Um, Fizz Grand Kai's 45 of the Extreme Z Awakening Medals, which is exactly what you need to fully Extreme Z Awaken your cell, and also enough Fizz Orbs to 
uh, get a unit from 0% to 100%, a Fizz unit, which you could use on the cell or you know anything else you really want, right? And we also have at least one mission. Yeah, so for clearing stage 7, you get 3 more stones, so that is a grand total of 33 stones from this Extreme Z Battle event. Here's a quick look at the Entrusted Will category. Um, you got a couple of LRs as far as options go. Um, not as many as you would like, I guess, but uh, it's a pretty extensive category, uh, relatively speaking. So you should be able to make a pretty decent team, uh, specifically out, out of the you know STR units. You got one LR, which is not great, but um, you got the new Goku and Gohan, which is awesome. The Strike uh, Trunks with the Extreme Z Awakening actually is really, really good. So is this new... Uh, awakening for this SDR Trunks. Uh, this Trunks is good too. A lot of good Trunks is actually. Oh, and of course, the uh, Ultimate Gohan here is very, very good. So, uh, yeah, some pretty good options for Interested Will, which is once again the weakness for the Extreme Z Battle event. And uh, last but not least, before we go, I will quickly go over the Extreme Z Awakening details for the Fizz LR Cell in case you guys missed my breakdown video from yesterday. Um, I think he's very good. I think he's really good. He's not perfect, but I would say near perfect as far as my expectations go. So, uh, yeah, if you guys already know what he does, then feel free to click away from the video. Feel free to head out. But if you don't, then stick around for like two more minutes. Okay, so leader skill. This is, this is uh, all after the Extreme Z Awakening. Leader skill is extreme fizz types. Key plus four. HP, attack, and defense plus 120%. And super fizz types. Key plus three. HP attack and defense plus 90%. Super attack, 12 key, causes colossal damage to all enemies and recovers 12% HP compared to 10% before the EZA. And then uh, 18 key super or ultra super attack greatly raises attack for one turn and causes mega colossal damage to enemy. Passive is attack and defense plus 120% at the start of turn plus an additional Defense plus 60% when performing a super attack, plus an additional defense plus 60% when performing an ultra super attack, and key plus 3 if only facing one enemy. And then plus an additional key plus 1 and attack plus 30% per existing enemy. So um, overall, I think it's a great EZA once again. Uh, he gets a lot more defense on a super attack, especially if you're doing the 18 key super against. A single enemy uh, this is the part that I think was a little bit unnecessary the fact that it's only against one enemy I feel like it could have just been you know 60 more 60 percent more defense when performing ultra super and that's it right but the restriction is there which is why I said you know it's not like you know a hundred percent what I wanted but it's it's pretty close and then when you're facing multiple enemies he gets this absolutely massive boost of attack plus 30% for every enemy. So if you're facing like six enemies in World Tournament, right? Or would it be seven? Six? Either way, six, it would be 180% attack uh, on top of the 120% here, right? And then if you're facing seven enemies, that would be 210%. So uh, yeah, definitely a huge, huge attack boost here. For facing multiple enemies and on top of that the defense boost is calculated separately which means that wait oh they removed the cal oh never mind <laughs> i didn't see it for some reason i was like why did they remove the uh, calculation at the bottom okay i found it here we go um the additional defense boost when performing super attack is calculated separately which means that he gets defense plus 252 percent when performing a regular super attack and then if you're facing one enemy performing an ultra super attack, then you get defense plus 384%, which in my opinion is pretty insane. So uh, yeah, he's going to be very, very tanky. And uh, you know, he's going to hit way harder when you're facing multiple enemies. He's still going to hit harder against single target, but the difference is not going to be as much, right? Uh, but when it comes to like Super Battle Road or... Uh, world tournament or any other multi-target multi-enemy event in the future he's gonna be extremely extremely good um one of the best options in the game 
um, comparable at least to LR Broly, if not better, I'll have to see, but um, I got very high hopes for this guy. So uh, yeah, that is going to do it for today's video, guys. That is the data download. A big shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting everything. As always, make sure to go follow him. And yeah, that's all I really got to say, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And uh, until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Video, signing out.